lovely week in California and it is about as hot here as it was there. Um, it's a little warm in the studio today. I can't know. Today I'm going to be trying to get my mum's dress made up. Uh, last video you saw me doing the sleeves so today I'm just going to be cutting it out of the very expensive blue silk. It's going to be fine and uh, trying to make the dress up. So yeah that's today's activity and um, hopefully it will go well but we shall see. <laughs> couple of things you'll see me doing so because this is silk crepe and therefore it's very mobile and it likes to move about hence the word mobile don't know why I felt I needed to, to explain that um, it um, it shifts a lot so I've just been doing a little bit of uh, practice uh, cutting to make sure that everything I have is sharp enough and this is the fabric but it will kind of stretch and move out of shape very easily you lay tissue paper, a sheet of tissue paper down underneath your fabric when you lay the fabric out to cut it, it stops it moving. That's really helpful and means that you don't have to worry so much about it shifting about. Use a rotary cutter if you can rather than scissors because the bottom blade of scissors will lift the fabric and in doing so it just automatically moves it from where you necessarily want to cut. Um, and use a really sharp blade when you do have um, your rotary cutter. So if your blade has gone dull, you, one thing you can do is roll over tin foil with it and it helps sharpen it up. Um, Though if it's really, really blunt, you probably just need to get a new one. Also, don't let the fabric hang over the end edges of your table. If you can fold it so everything's flat and just use small areas at once that you're cutting, it means that the fabric doesn't stretch with the weight of itself. It doesn't stretch itself out by hanging over the edge of the table. And once you've cut your pieces out, lay them flat somewhere out of the way so that they're not going to fall off a table or again be dangling because the fabric could stretch and that means that everything kind of goes a bit wobbly and then what you need to do particularly with this pattern because everything's cut on the bias and it's in quite small pieces I stay stitch around every single piece on all sides to try to stop it from moving as much as possible so before I can sit down and start to do any form of construction I've got to do all of that I've got to cut it out and then stay stitch all of my pieces uh, so I'm going to do that now <laughs> 